Zumba, the hidden gem of Southeast Asia. Immerse yourself in the culture of the Zumbanese people, known for their warm hospitality and rich heritage. Witness the harmony between tradition and nature. Zumba offers an unforgettable experience. Welcome to Zumba in Indonesia. In this video, I'm going to show you the west coast of Zumba. My next video will be about the east coast, where we will be heading next. So whether you seek adventure, culture, or beautiful landscapes, Zumba has it all. Let me show you around and let's start the journey. First thing you will probably notice in Zumba are locals with red stained teeth and here is why. Every time when you go to Zumba house, like whatever is it, mm -hmm. first thing they will give you this small bag. So inside there have a coral powder, bitter nut and some bitter. Why we eat this one? It's because we introduce you guys to our spirit of the ancestor. Uh, is it when you get red? Yes. Okay, uh -huh. so this one I have to, and then I have yeah. to bite it. Mm -hmm. yeah. it. My tongue is numb because of your foot, the bitter. Are you Let's take a deeper look how they live and how their houses are built. So, Sumanese houses have three floors. First floor is for animals, second floor is for humans, mm -hmm. and then the third floor is for the store, for keeping the dry rice and dry corn, and the spirit of the ancestor live there. So why the Sumanese roof is taller is because we believe that the spirit of ancestor live there can be near with the God. So we have two doors, right doors and left doors. Right doors is only for men, left doors is only for women. Men can go all around inside, but women cannot go this side. Why? It's because this side is very holy that women cannot just easily go there. Over there, it's for the men to talk with the spirit of the ancestor. It's very holy place. In addition to its rich cultural heritage, Zumba also offers a stunning array of beautiful beaches. Let's start with Vatubella. This beach has a long white sandy shoreline and unique rock formations, which have been shaped by the forces of nature over time. This gives it a serene and a dramatic look. Market. The drive is for about 20 minutes and it's pretty bumpy so far and after that we have one waterfall planned and it's going to be a tricky hike so we need time for that one and um, let's go! We continued our way to a waterfall, 
one of the best hidden gems in West Zumba. It takes a while to reach from the main road and it's a bit tricky to get there. My advice, get a guide. It was so worth it, such a beautiful waterfall. just got to a really really beautiful beach over here. I think this is the most beautiful beach I've ever been to. Let me show you. Tiger is coming. Oh my god, what is it? Thank you, Cindy. Oh, what are you holding? <laughs> octopus! It's an octopus! Yeah, octopus! Oh my god! So big octopus! It's so good, I'm vegetarian. <laughs> wow! It is the next day and we woke up early in the morning to catch the sunrise at a beautiful waterfall. It is known for its lush green environment which is surrounded by rice fields. I think we got in a fairy tale. The next morning we woke up early again to catch the sunrise, but this time in a different way. We took a walk at the beach with two beautiful horses. The moments were magical. Selamat pagi, it is another day, we just woke up, we are going to have breakfast right now and then we got something exciting for today. We got invited to an art festival at an elementary school and I've never experienced this before so let's go, I'm excited. Did you know that Zumbanese people are one of the poorest in Indonesia? Many people don't know about Zumba. Tourism is really helping and this island has so much to offer. So I am curious, comment below if you have ever heard of the island of Zumba or if you have ever been here. Here they made me one of them, welcomed me into their community and dressing me in their traditional clothes. Many Zumbanese people traditionally create their own clothing. Then they invited me to dance to their traditional music, which was so much fun. What 
What's truly remarkable is that they craft and perform their own music. This day unfolded as a wonderful experience filled with the company of kind-hearted people. This tradition for Zumba people is a symbol of family and friendship closeness. It will be only carried out on certain occasions such as weddings, birthdays or events. Good morning everyone, Salamat Pagi. We just checked in at the new hotel which is called Chapcaroso and we are going to stay here for five nights. And even if it's super beautiful over here, we won't stop exploring. So let's go. Yep. Let me show you a unique, untouched beach in the southwest. Though the rope may be rough and bumpy, it will be worth it in the end. Today, we have planned two locations which are located in the southwest and are really close to each other. We are on our way to another village, this time a popular village, and we got told that this village is built only for tourism. So let's see how it's gonna be, and this is Kampung Ratingar. However, I can definitely agree to what everyone says on this island, even the locals. This village is more about tourism and money and you have to pay basically for almost everything like the entrance, if you want to take photos and videos, if you want to fly a drone, like you have to pay for everything. And if I have to compare both villages, I would say the first village is more, let's say, natural. But I love the experience in both villages and everyone was really kind. Don't be scared if you see a man approaching you with a machete. This is what we got told here first. As you maybe already noticed, there were a few men and boys wearing a machete around their hips. This is also a tradition here which is a symbol of courage. 